On what date did you move into the plaintiff's house? April 1st, I want to say. And what happened to the house that you and your brother were living in? Uh, the, like she said, the landlord, she just wasn't paying the bills and it went under foreclosure. Good. You owe her for the couch, $800. We agreed on $1,500, ma'am. Show me. I have text messages as well with $800. Well, take a look. Get them. Show They're me. not for me. You can look at my phone. They're not for me. I would not sell that furniture. It's very nice furniture, Your Honor. Miss Johnson, just show me the agreement. She says $800. You say almost double that. Okay, so, Mr. Long, let me, there's that let me tell you this. More. I don't believe that she agreed to call it even with the U-Haul rental for a day oh, and Josh. I actually believe her that she gave you back the money for the U-Haul, and I believe her when she says that you wanted to help, and Josh wanted to help her move out quickly so that he and his brother could move into the house as quickly as possible. So I don't believe you. Now, starting with the fact that I have determined that I don't believe you, that you didn't give me a truthful answer, I want you to make sure that what I'm going to look at here says that she agreed to sell you the couch for $800, okay? Yes. Great. Okay, now I got it. So, it was sort of halfway in between. You Can originally you wanted $1,500 for the couch. Mm -hmm. And then you agreed to take eight. No, that did not come from and then, And then you had a kerfuffle, probably because of Josh, mm -hmm. and you said to her, you want to turn into a phony, nasty name. I'll show you two can play that game. I want $1,500 for my couch like I had originally wanted. And Damn, Josh can get out of my house. I did this as a favor for you and now him and his brother. Ma'am, that did not come from my phone. The, um, oh, the yes, evidence, uh, The evidence that I showed oh, this, you, oh, yes, that, was, that was just oh, yes, a couple. That was a oh, couple. It, this, that came from your phone. Ma'am, so she could have put any number on there. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, just because it says Brittany doesn't mean that's not my number. I've never mentioned $800. The, the evidence that I showed you with the agreement no, 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 was, no, 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 no. that was actually no, no, no. just a couple Shh, weeks ago. Listen to me. I said you came up with a different figure that had to do with something else, whether it was carpet or something else, but you had an original figure. Oh, yeah, you did. Ma'am, that's did. not my text messages. <laughs> like, I can put your phone number in my she, phone and, yeah, and put Angel's that. name as a contact I know that. She didn't and, write and have she, you send she, messages. Listen to me. I know that you can do that, but this came from you. It did not come from me. Who else moved you? Um, it was me, Angel, uh, my mom, and then uh, one of my uncle's girlfriends. What about him? He actually helped Angel move the furniture over to her house. He's never moved anything over to my mom's. I rented the U-Haul at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. She didn't get off till 7. Me and him loaded that U-Haul from 3 o'clock in the afternoon until he, 7 when she came home. He did not help move anything over to my home. Okay. Do you have the patio furniture Yes, I back? actually did get that back. So basically, um, the whole... No, basically, down... I just asked you a question. Do you have the patio furniture yes. back? Yes. Okay, and you don't want, this, listen to me carefully, and you don't want the sofa back because you say she let her dog sit on it. Right, which Good. I have. Judgment for the plaintiff in the amount of $800. We're done. Thank you.